I think a lot of people see Jackson on our currency and assume that he was a great president. He was an influential president, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he was great. When Jackson becomes president, American politics is in a moment of change. That's a moment when party politics, in a way that we now would recognize it, is on the upswing. Before that point, there were partisan alliances, but there wasn't kind of an attempt to have any kind of organized system. There's greater engagement with politics. The participation in elections are going through the roof. As more Americans voted in elections, we see the campaigns becoming uglier and more divisive. And Jackson's was by far the most divisive up until that point. Suddenly it's like, it's kind of a team sport. So he comes in and the message that he has is a sort of, I'm for the common white man message. He poses as a different kind of a leader and that message plays well at that time. Up until Jackson, many presidents said that the legislature represented the people. And what Jackson said is, no, you've got it all wrong. The president is the only person who represents all of the people. It's only the president that is elected by the people at large. And for that reason, I can be more powerful than the presidency had been up to this point. And so Jackson transformed the way we envision the president and his authority. He was a very strong leader who marched out and did what he thought he should do and didn't really think twice about it very often. He was a general who was applying this command and follow structure to American democracy. And while that worked in some respects because he had the support of a wide swath of Americans behind him, constitutionally, it was a challenge. Many of the things he did tore down institutions that were essential to American government and also disenfranchised individuals and groups in ways that today we see as betrayals of American values. He had some policies during his presidency that were just ugly, that were murderous. You know, he was really trying to clear Native Americans just out of the way in a cruel and all-embracing kind of a way. The one word I would use to describe Jackson is a contradiction because he is, on the one hand, authoritarian in his leadership style, but on the other hand, he is the symbol of the growth of American democracy because more Americans decided to become involved in politics than ever before because of Jackson. He was a strong character, and for some people, that's what they want in a president, and for some people, that's not the kind of person they want for in a president. So I always struggle with Jackson and whether or not he was a good leader. And if being a good leader means you do what you want to do, then Jackson was a good leader. But if leaders are supposed to have higher values, if leaders are supposed to speak for American principles, then I think Jackson as president does not look so good.